Hello, my name is Rebecca Bishop, and I am an equine surgeon at the University of Illinois. If you are left-handed like me, you are probably very used to adapting to equipment designed for the right-handed majority. Still, learning surgical skills from right-handed surgeons presents an added level of challenge. While surgical instruments designed for a left-handed grip are available, it is impractical for the left-handed surgeon or assistant to rely on left-handed surgical packs, especially as surgical teams are statistically likely to include at least some right-handed personnel. In this video, I will discuss some design features of surgical instruments that work against left-handed users and share some tips to adapt your technique for ambidextrous use of standard instruments. Here we have a standard or right-handed Olsen-Hager needle driver on the right and a left-handed Olsen-Hager on the left. Note that the difference is in the orientation of the box locks. The right arm of the right-handed instrument rests on top of the left, whereas the left-handed instrument has the left arm on top of the right. Standard surgical instruments are designed for maximal efficiency when using a right-handed grip. A gripping motion includes a pushing force from the base of the thumb and pulling of the fingers towards the palm. Both scissor blades and the box locks of hemostats and needle drivers are oriented such that these natural forces act to push the blades against each other or open the box lock. You can see that when I switch the needle driver to my left hand, my natural gripping motion no longer opens the box lock because the forces are working to push the lock closed. If I want to use a right-handed instrument in my left hand, I instead need to pull my thumb towards my palm and push away with my fingers. This is effective, but less ergonomic and requires more conscious practice. Using the correctly designed instrument for each hand is smoother and more natural. I like to have the option to use left-handed needle drivers for closing large incisions or when more precision is needed, but I often use the standard instruments for smaller incisions. It is also important to have the correct instrument if you want to suture with a palm grip. Because the palm grip has no mechanism to pull on the upper arm, there is no way to overcome the mechanics of a right-handed needle driver in your left hand. You can see here that when I try to use a palm grip with my left hand, I am unable to open the box lock. Switching to the left-handed needle driver allows me to use a palm grip if desired. Moving on to scissors, the important mechanical effect to consider is apposition of the blades. The natural gripping motion with the right hand pushes the blades together for a clean cut, while a left-handed grip tends to push the blades apart. Using standard or right-handed scissors with a left-handed grip has a similar effect to using dull scissors, with reduced shear and torque forces resulting in decreased precision and increased tissue trauma. My fellow lefties likely remember the grade school experience of trying to use safety craft scissors that manage to bend or tear the paper more often than they actually cut. Fortunately, there are a few simple ways to overcome the scissor challenge. The first is simply to have well-designed, cared for, and sharpened instruments. Using these craft scissors for demonstration, you can appreciate that a right-handed grip results in a clean cut while the left-handed grip is less efficient. To combat this effect, I again think about the forces that would be applied by a right-handed grip and I can achieve a clean cut by consciously applying a pulling force with my thumb towards my palm, which opposes the blades more closely. If we briefly revisit our Olsen-Hager needle drivers, you'll notice that the cutting portion of the left-handed pair is actually a right-handed design. However, because they are nice and sharp, this doesn't cause a problem for their intended use. I hope this video has been useful to help you better understand how handedness affects surgical instrument use, whether you operate left-handed or if you work with left-handed assistants and trainees. I find it very useful to be comfortable using surgical instruments in either hand and I encourage all trainees to practice until subconscious muscle memory is developed for both hands.